In this part of the course, we will be using JSON to store our cards, so let's get into it. So, I would probably want to have an array here, so I can just say var to do cards, and just say equal to an empty array. And let's see here, I want to create data on the new item, so I'm just going to create a new dictionary and just call it data, and set it equal to a blank dictionary. I want to store the done state, uh, I'm just going to say uh, false by default, and um, let's see here, we should probably also store the contents, so contents, and I'm just going to say dollar sign, wait a minute, let me open up the new item, contents, and I can just say, I'm just going to set it to an empty string by default, and then I'll populate that in the ready, oh, when we create the item, yeah, I'm probably going to do it here, ni.data.contents is equal to dollar sign new i'm going to hop over to that scene new to do input dot text okay and let's see here we should that should be it actually so we should now have to save so func save and i'm just going to create a new file so var f is equal to file dot new f dot open and i'm going to be putting this in the resource directory but you can also put it in the user directory and i'm just going to say main dot save with the file mode of write and then I'm just going to say f dot store string json dot print, and we also need a uh, data. So var data is equal to a new dictionary, and I'm just going to say to do cards and to and just say equal to to do cards. And now I can print that uh, dictionary. So data. So json dot print data, and then we should close it. And now we should also call the save in the create new item. So every time we create a new item, it saves. So let's test that out. And I'm also going to have the project data folder open here so i'm just going to type in test here and type in test again and let's see here it does not create why does it not do that i figured out why it was because i was doing it to the resource directory so if we go into here we should see main.save and let me open it up we have nothing in there and that is because we're not actually appending anything to the array so let's just say to do cards.append and ni.data data and now we should see that working so test here and let me go into there main.save we should see a uh, done state is false and the contents is test so now we should also be saving it whenever we change the done state so i'm just going to say data.done state is equal to is done and data.done state is equal to is done again and i also want to call get parent dot save and that would not actually work because we're not actually changing this so we should probably create a signal so we'll be using custom signals so signal done state change and we just need a all we should need is i believe just an index so we should be storing a current index or index i'm probably making this a lot more complex than what it actually is well no we should just be able to say data and we can emit the signal done stick changed and data and then i'm going to do that down here as well and then we want to connect that signal so i'm going to do it down here so in i dot connect and i'm going to say uh done state changed done state changed and i'm just going to say uh done state changed here self done state changed funk done state changed and we need data so we should just be able to say to do cards dot find and we should just be able to type in data i should store that as a variable so var d is equal to that and then <laughs> d dot done state is equal to data dot done state and then save i have no idea if that will work or not so let me actually delete the main save file first okay test it okay main dot save here it is okay we have done state to false let's mark it as done and we get an error so invalid set index done state on base int with type of bool so let's see here so we're storing an index of this so let me just say to do cards to the d element is equal to done state and then delete this main.save test it let me open up main.save done state false mark as done we can see it actually does mark it as done so that is very cool indeed
and we should be able to unmark it as done and we can't actually do that so we haven't implemented that yet uh, but i probably will in a future video so that's pretty much all for saving now we want to actually auto populate it so we need to create a ready so ready and i can just say var f is equal to file dot new f dot open res um main dot save and we also need f dot read f dot read we should probably also check if the file exists so if f dot file exists res main dot save then we want to execute this code and let's see here we can say to do cards to do cards is equal to parse json uh f dot get as text um dot to do cards and that should work without an error do we actually have a main dot save though this okay so it did so now we just need to auto populate it so for card in to do cards we want to say create new item create new item and we should probably modulate this code a little bit more so i'm going to create contents and should append and uh, i'm just going to set its text to so dollar sign label dot text is equal to contents down here and uh, contents <laughs> okay so now we just need to say the contents so i'm just going to say card dot contents should append should be false and if should append double equals true then we want to execute this should uh this append here so if should append is equal to true we want to append the to do cards to that create new item dollar sign new to do input dot text and i'm just going to copy paste that down here as well uh true we should append it when we click enter or the add card button okay Okay, so that should work. Yes, it does indeed. Now we just need to set its done state. Well, I actually want to make sure first it didn't actually create anything new. Okay, so it did not. So let's return in I. So return in I. And I'm just going to create var here. Var I is equal to create new item. And I dot is done is equal to card dot done state uh yes okay and in our ready function we need to say func ready if is done double equals true then we want to execute this code we should actually just modulate it and save this copy so if we are setting it to done when this object's created we want to set to modulate and it's data dot done state so let's do that and it does not work why might that be let's print the card dot done state card dot done state and we can say it's true so let's print i dot is done print i dot is done i'm debugging this here so it is true so if done double equals true so let's print print is done false so we should just create like a timer whenever this thing gets started i'm not sure if this will work so get tree dot create timer time seconds i'm just going to say one second and a timeout timeout string does not match the functions expected argument type of float oh yes okay so after one second it does it so i should probably reduce this to like 0 0.1 just enough time for the computer to instance it so yes that does indeed work so if you found this video informative be sure to leave a like and subscribe it helps out channel helps get content like this recommended others that's all from me for now fun out